fair use disclaimer. As an educator and librarian, I teach students and staff about copyright law. I respect the rights of authors and illustrators to profit from their work. Authors and illustrators have visited our school. Without them, my profession would not exist. I have a working relationship with a local independent children's bookseller. I recommend this bookseller to others. I respect the rights and role of publishers, editors, and agents in bringing books to market. There is another aspect of copyright law that I am grateful for. It's called fair use. Fair use respects my rights as a user of books in my role as an educator and librarian. I claim the rights and protections of fair use in the reading of this book. I have worked diligently to make the presentation of this work transformative. This video is intended for my school population and to serve as a model for colleagues. This video is intended to be viewed by my students and then a related activity completed within our district's distance learning platforms. I am not a professional voice actor, nor am I profiting from this read aloud. What I am doing is my job. I'm reaching my students where they are at. They can't physically be with me right now, so I am attempting to recreate our cozy school library time together as best I can in a virtual way. Hello everyone, it's Miss Gap, your teacher librarian. I miss you. I want to read a book to you today about books. Because not only do I miss you, I miss helping you find books and check them out in our school library. I hope you have some books at home that, you're, that you've been able to read. If you're running out of books at home, don't worry. Each week for the rest of our school year, I'll be reading you a book and posting an activity to Seesaw related to the book we've read. Let's get started. This is called The Book Hog by Greg, Greg Pizzoli. He's the author. Notice that this book has an award on the cover. It was honored by librarians for being one of the best books for beginning readers of 2019. You are a beginning reader, and with time, you'll learn to read on your own. If you like, and if you can see the words on the screen well enough, you can read along with me at home. Here we go. The Book Hog. The Book Hog loved books. And he had quite a few. He loved the way they smelled and the way the pages felt in his hooves. He especially liked the ones with pictures. I'm glad he has toilet paper. He picked them up here and there, anywhere he could find them. Wilbur's books independently owned and operated. But the book, hog, the book hog had a secret. Shh, a big secret. He doesn't look very happy. He didn't know how to read. He had never learned. He was surrounded by books, but the book hog couldn't read a single one. The book hog went to bed every night without a bedtime story. He looks sad. One morning he went out looking for more books. He came to a long, low building and he smelled some books inside. I think you know what this says up here? It's hard to tell, the words are cut off. I think I know what it says. He snuck through the, snap, the stacks, adding several books to his pile. But then a soft voice said, would you like to join us for story time? It was Miss Olive, the librarian. Pick out a book and I'll read it with you. The book hog blinked. Then he swallowed. You'll read a book with me? Of course, said Miss Olive as many as you'd like. This gave the book hog an idea. Wait here, he said. He went home. Put, 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 put. 
And he came back with some books. Miss Olive led story time, and the book hog listened closely. He heard many stories, some funny, some sad, some kind of in between. Over time, and with practice, the book hog learned to read on his own. He grew to love books even more, not just for the way they looked and felt, but for the stories they told. And yes, the book hog still takes a lot of books. Got all those books in his room. But he always brings them back. Well, they're having a book fair. It's a due date slip. The end. Thank you for reading with me today. Check out the special activity I have for you in your Seesaw account. I can't wait to see what you post. See you next week.